I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction. Here with your feeder flash for Wednesday, December the 6th. Tuesday was a big marketing day of uh, feeders, but it was mostly just calves. Uh, not a lot of big strings of yearlings to be found around, but a lot of calves moving. And not just at OKC West, but uh, other big sales too all across the country. Look at the board on Tuesday, February live cattle was down 65 cents. To end the day at 120.52. December spot live cattle contracts actually up a nickel at 116.42 and we hope that we don't dip that far down on this week's trade. It's going to be lower. We're not sure where it's going to be. I doubt we uh, the hedged feeder gets to keep uh, you know three and a half to four dollars a basis though it'll be somewhere between that 116 and 120. January feeder cattle down two dollars and twelve cents then the day at 147.82. Of course, there's been no fat trade of any significance so far this week. About the only thing that raised an eyebrow on Tuesday was the report on mandatory price reporting that uh, uh, somewhere in Iowa there was 240 head of steers that brought 123 on Monday. Wow, uh, they did a pretty good job of selling those, but uh, nothing else to speak of anywhere. Fed Cattle Exchange is only going to have 650 head on their Wednesday online sale and uh, no significance at all. Box beef cutout values uh, continue higher and it's mostly all due to the rib. Uh, most of your other uh, cuts on the carcass are, are lower but uh, such still good demand uh, for, for, the, for the rib cuts, the most expensive cuts and they're the ones that make the most difference on your uh, choice or select. That's why we're seeing the the wide uh, spread between choice and select. But uh, choice cutouts 20908 up 89 cents. Selects at 186.63 up a dollar nine. Something I saw that was of significance and, and I will tell where I saw it. It was on the Hales cattle letter, which I don't know if any of you guys uh, read that, but uh, it's got some, some interesting things in it. Uh, uh, the one that come out over the weekend there on uh, the Hales cattle letter which uh, somebody pirated and shared with me and I found it interesting. I uh, did not find it on my own but if you look at that since the first of October so starting the fourth quarter there since the first of October weekly steer slaughter has averaged 6400 head less than the same time a year ago while heifer slaughter uh, for the week has averaged 21,800 head more than the same time a year ago. So actually steer slaughter has, uh, has just about uh, uh, dropped off here and the heifer slaughter has more than made up for it. We're running, still running more cattle uh, being slaughtered than the same time a year ago, but it's all due to heifers. I'm not sure why they're all bunched up there uh, here at the end of the year, but uh, the thing it tells me that uh, the herd rebuilding is definitely over and uh, and we're, we're putting a lot of heifers on feed and, and through the system there, but uh, that, that could uh, help give you an idea that maybe these calf prices will stay good, you know, over the next few seasons, over the next uh, few calf seasons and uh and we were, we'll quit having all this overabundance of calves but uh we've been lucky to keep these calf prices as high as we have here guys i know they're not what you got used to there three years ago or so but uh still very high in the history of things but look at some feeder markets on uh tuesday there okay see west big tuesday calf sale 7500 head of course that included the oklahoma quality beef network calves and the Integrity Beef Alliance calves, uh, they're expecting another 5,000 head of yearlings on Wednesday, so just big sales at OKC West and El Reno. But your calf sales, steer calves two to four dollars higher and heifer calves one to three dollars lower. Uh, almost all of that higher could, could be blamed on the, the bigger bunches, the higher quality calves uh, that were brought in for those two specials that they had in, in uh, in, in line with your regular sale but but there's also better calves built around that anytime you have a, an auction sale and they're going to have a lot of good cattle there it pulls more good cattle out of the woodwork and and uh, and you had a higher calf market and and 
normally you see that on steers people will really lay out some money for some fancy steers not too many people buying replacement heifers uh, especially right now but uh, you saw a really good calf quote there coming out of uh, OKC West uh, if you look at that uh, OKC West report you see a thousand and sixty nine head of steers averaging uh, 557 in the five weight group bring 167.38 now you bunched them in a pile that was seven dollars more than last week's weighted average on that cattle market central report 1056 six weight steers average 650 at 158.56 up about nine bucks and a, a smaller pool but 481 had a seven weight calves 737 pounds at 156.60 and that weighted average was about $14 higher than the weighted average uh, from the previous week. But you got to figure, you know, those cattle had a lot of reputation, had a lot of background, and got all their shots and long time weaned. You look at an individual quote uh, that come out of that Phillip uh, report. The Phillip South Dakota had another big sale over 6,000 head. If you look at the report there, uh, you see in the steers they had 2,099 head of steers in the six weight category average 648 at 174.74 on a heifers a similar type of heifers 648 head of heifers in the five weight group they averaged 557 at 162.21 and the bigger six weight heifers brought about the same price per pound 702 head of them averaged 635 at 161.22 uh, one individual load lot there, or not quite a load because they were off a of light, but 74 head of four weight steer calves at 1.30 on Tuesday afternoon at Phillip weighed 464 pounds at 209 and a quarter. That's your feeder flash for Wednesday.